Hello guys, Colin here. For my first foray into the big bad world of bass guitars, I want to examine what good bass starter bundles are available for as little coin as possible. To this end, I've once again made use of Toman's house brand Harley Benton and secured this progressive bass bundle style to appeal to the rock and metal player while still looking classy enough to appeal to those who wish to play in other genres. The bundle consists of this B450 progressive bass guitar, a 40 watt bass amp, gig bag, strap, cable and tuner. The whole lot coming in at just over 200 great British pounds. So can this budget bass bundle bring a brutal bottom end while beneficially being the best bang for your buck bargain? Buckle up, we're about to find out. Let's quickly run down the spec of this instrument. It's a double cut alder body with a bolt on three piece D profile Canadian maple neck. The fingerboard is black walnut for that touch of something exotic and it supports 24 frets marked out by what Tolman refers to as Tai Chi inlays. For electronics, we have two humbucking pickups with an onboard active preamp. Individual bridge saddles matches the rest of the black hardware which gives nice contrast to the gloss white finish of the body. I'm going to address the control layout in detail because there's no documentation with the instrument. There's a lot going on here and I almost overlooked some aspects so I don't want beginners getting lost. I'm going to label these control knobs 1 through 4 so you can follow along. Knob 1 is the master volume and this obviously takes the instrument from silence to full output when turned clockwise. Now, I've had this bass for a little while and I only just realised before filming this video that the volume control is also a push-pull pot. When pulled out it turns off the active preamp, giving passive pickup tone. So knob down has the active preamp engaged and knob up has just the passive pickups. Knob 2 is the pickup blend control. Fully anti-clockwise gives us just the bridge humbucker and fully clockwise gives us just the neck humbucker. Slightly unintuitive and the notch in the middle gives an equal blend of the two. Knobs 3 and 4 control the two band active EQ contained within the guts of the instrument. Knob 3 is the bass control. The centre notch is neutral, turning clockwise boosts the bass and turning anti-clockwise cuts the bass. Knob 4 is the treble control. Once again, the notch in the centre is neutral, clockwise to boost and anti-clockwise to cut. With this arrangement of controls, it's possible to achieve just about any bass sound you desire. So with that in mind, let's hear some of these tones. This will be the B450 direct into my interface and I'll be applying a Sansamp plug-in and Lemmy's Bass Cabinet Impulse, part of Cameron Webb's IR pack from Lancaster Audio.
This may be a cheap instrument, but it's doing everything in its power to convince you otherwise. Not only is the feature list impressive for an instrument of this price point, but the fit and finish is flawless. Those frets are well dressed with no rough or sharp edges to be felt, there's not a single mark or blemish anywhere, and right out of the box this was in tune and set up to perfection. But the real strength comes in the versatility of the electronics and controls. From fat, powerful, active tones that will drive the hardest of genres forward, to bright, spanky, passive sounds that pop for a more vintage or funkier influence, this bass proves it's not one note. Critical for helping develop the style of the beginner, this instrument offers an incredible amount for the money asked. Now this bass amp is something to behold. This is not what I expected from a cheap starter bundle. This is a deep, closed back bass cabinet containing a 10 inch bass speaker and 40 watts of solid state power make this massively loud. This isn't just a home practice tool. Toman expects you to take this to band practice and that DI out which connects the amp to a PA system alludes to this being a viable gigging option. Other vital features include a compressor with gain and selector switch, an incredibly important effect for bass which keeps all the dynamics of your playing in line. A 3 band EQ with a mid frequency selector, this allows you to fine tune your mids to suit the live mix. An MP3 line in so you can jam along with music from your phone or other audio device and a headphone output for silent practice. So let's hear some sounds from this amp now. I'll both mic the speaker in the cabinet and run that DI into my interface and you'll see on screen which is which. And a disclaimer, as you probably worked out from the last sound samples, I'm not really a bass player, so please excuse any of my bad technique. Now I'm pretty blown away by this bass amplifier. The depth of the box is so important for reproducing bass frequencies, so I'm glad that Toman has opted to include this rather than a thinner model. 10 inch speakers are pretty standard across bass equipment, so this doesn't feel like a downgrade considering the size. That 40 watts gives plenty of grunt and headroom for people starting out, and that DI out and compressor make it viable for band practices and even small live performances. I can see new players getting a lot of use out of this before they upgrade their touring rig and even then this may stick around as their home practice amplifier. All it needs is a nice fuzz to get those distorted bass tones and you couldn't ask for a better beginner's rig for the money. There's honestly not a negative thing to say about this Harley Benton bundle. Toman have knocked it out of the park with this matchup. The instrument is comfortable and easy to play, flawlessly finished with a plethora of sounds available thanks to the active preamp and EQ controls. The amp is impressive for a beginner's bundle, offering exactly what's needed for bedroom practice and beyond, and the accessories give you everything you need, even if the strap is a little naff. It's good. It's all really good. So if you're starting off on your bass journey or just need a good yet cheap bass rig to complement all the other instruments you own, then pick up this one. For the price, you can't get better value than this.
And if you've liked this video and you want to see more content from me, then please hit the subscribe button and that will notify you of all new content as it comes out. Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff if you wish to support me further and there's other videos you might not have seen. But that's all for now guys, keep it loud and I'll see you later.